What is going on everyone and welcome back to more Black Desert. So, today, we're actually just continuing on the last session from before. Um, a little bit earlier, or last episode, we did some pre-bartering to get some materials ready and stocked up. Um, so actually now, I believe we are ready to go head out to Margoria. And the reason why we are doing that is mostly because today we have a one for this barter session. We have a 150 mil run, so like 30, 60, 90, 120, 150. This is really the only time I bother going out to Margoria these days. And uh, usually, other than that, I just rather do something else because. For all of you who are looking into bartering, um, going to Margoria is not the most fun. It's like a 30 minute trip of you just holding your W key or pressing the auto thing and navigating it on your second monitor. <laughs> so, is it fun? Not really. Do you do it because it's easy money? That's exactly why you do it. But yeah, so usually when I do bartering, it's usually just chill days. Um, something just going on in the background I can explain what I'm doing so it's easy uh, if you want to look into getting into sailing and bartering at some point I do have a pretty in-depth guide so you guys can check that out and um, basically in that video it's like a 20 something minute video so you just watch it and then I go over like what I did starting with my frigate um, and then how to do like dailies how to prioritize items, what storages you should use, what you should look for, how to get it, and some extra tips and tricks that like I learned on my way. So, yeah, hopefully uh, one day, if you want to watch that, find like a carrot guide and just search my name and then probably find it. A lot of people have given me feedback saying it's good and yeah but anyway um chill day got our materials ready looking for an easy 150 mil only about 2,000 more barters till we get to the next bracket and at 10,000 we get one more trade lane and then at 20,000 we get another trade lane so basically what that means is you see how all, there are all these offers right here? You just get one more additional thing on another island at 10,000 and then 20,000. So pretty easy. Also, dude, like naval fame. I don't know how I feel about that. Like I get why they added it. And I uh, think it was like overall good. Man, that like, if they're gonna add a naval fame, what they should do is add a dueling for boats. Because uh, the way it works now, at least some of what my guildies do, is if you wanna like practice boat PvP, right? Against like your guildies or something. What you have to do is kinda complicated and stupid. You have to go merc for another guild and then you guys just like flag on each other and then tell each other when you're like at 10% so you don't sink. It's really stupid. Now with the naval fame, you can't do that. So literally just add an option to duel your friends on your boat and then I think it would be good. But I don't know how. So, yeah. Oh well. I need to get this character to 60 at some point. Still need to get a crystal at some point. I heard it's not too bad getting a crystal, but like if you're trying to get a good one, it's kind of difficult. Any, uh... Ooh. 
Oof, there are no good guild missions today. It's the closest to something I would take, but I don't even want that one. Uh, it's okay. We'll do Margoria run. So basically what we're gonna do is go here. This one. This one. This one. Here. And then here. But yeah, I know this is like a hot topic for all of us on the NA and EU, the whole account transfer thingy. Um, so let me know how the process was for you guys. Did it work smoothly? Are you having any troubles in-game playing now? So I think the only like big things that I've noticed are if you are... Um, like if you did the transfer yesterday when it opened, the hardest thing was getting into the game like after you chose your character the game would crash right so the way to fix it if you are still having the issue is just literally log into another character and let's say you chose like velia one and your main character right and then you crashed next time choose like velia two and your energy alt account and then it should work at least that did for me Someone took the 15. I really gotta grind to share runes one day. Oh my goodness. Dude, I hate that place so much. I am actually curious to know though, what's gonna happen to loyalties once uh, they transfer over? Because I know in Korea, they have a they have a similar system to loyalties, but it's not called loyalties. And then we get 100 a day. Oh, family inventory. Yeah, hold up. Family inventory. Eat. I want to go to Zarka. No, I really don't want to go to Zarka. Dude, it's so awful. I hate it. You know, maybe I should actually, uh, Put this on my ball salt. Because <laughs> I, I know I'm not going to use it on my main. Put uh, an extra black star there. You know, believe it or not, if you are... This is something I learned... Not recently, but, like, I learned it. The waves, it's not just, like, in other games where you're sailing, it's just, like, flat water. There's no resistance. Obviously, it tells you right here, like, the waves and current. But, like, someone actually had to draw a picture for me. Like, the waves going this way, like, from, let's say you're starting here, right? And you're going down this way. That way is slower than if you're traveling from this way from right to left. And, uh... So basically, going if you're trying to do a barter, going straight down this middle is not good. What you're gonna kind of want to like curve a little bit up, starting from here and then going around in the circle to make it the fastest possible route. If you're trying to min max your speed, if you're just trying to AFK, it doesn't matter. But like the water resistance and the wind at certain points, they're like breakpoints, so you just can't see them. So, like, that's why saw me like curve upwards and not instead just going like from here straight down curved it's something that like the people who actually do sailing and bartering a lot like that is their main life skill that's what they taught me people who are the 
real high levels. I'm actually on the top 20. Top 30. Oh, that's embarrassing. I don't even deserve top 30 for sailing and bartering. I'm pretty sure Karandis, our guild GM, is like rank 1 barter. Is that like guru something bartering? Like, dude, dear God, you must really love bartering. At some point, I do want to bring this up to like master at least, but man, dude, that involves literally bartering four refreshes a day. That's so awful, dude. You spend all your time in the ocean. So one thing I could tell you is I was when I first when I had my frigate, right? And I had a plan to go for a Carrick. I was like, oh I could just spend like an hour or two a day on a frigate doing ocean stuff and then you know just go grind for an hour. No. So like do both land and ocean stuff? No, it really doesn't work like that. If you want your Carrick, you spend all day in the ocean. Because your goal is to barter and do daily. So, for example, we just did this in the last video. If you're actively piloting your, like, boat from Ilya down to here, to here, and here, and then back was, like, a 15-minute run. So it's like, where does the time go? And then if you're doing Margoria, like, three times a day because you want the sea coins, um, that's literally, like, two hours of itself just doing it three times a day. Even more so if you're like on a frigate and not a Carrick with like gear. Like mine isn't even gear. I built mine for fast turn speed. And I don't even have the Volante. So, yeah. Even for me, like I don't even have like the fastest gear. I just have green Carrick gear at plus 10 and a cannon, which literally adds nothing to speed. But, yeah, I'm pretty sure, like, a Margoria run for me is 30 minutes. That's only one, then you have to do it three times a day. And then, assuming you're min-maxing, you go to Hakobin every day, three times. That's another, like, 15 minutes per. So, you're spending two hours just doing Margoria and Hakobin runs. And then, you have to do your occasional barters, another, like, 15 minutes per, like, from here to here. And then if you're doing like individual barter, just going back and forth, that's like another hour. So like that was just for my timing. If you don't have like a speedboat, you're gonna spend like five hours a day just doing like your daily activities in the ocean. So yeah, that was one of those things I was like, oh just you know, play casually, do a little bit. No, like if you want your character, you're spending all the time in the ocean. Just something to prepare for. Something you have to dedicate like a month or two. And then then you'll get it. It's good. I don't even know when the refreshes even happen. Basically, if you don't know how this works... The lower the number, the better. If it's green, that's okay. If it's blue, it's getting kind of bad. If it's red, you're going slow. What you want is like neutral numbers and then look up here. Make sure to understand how folded and not folded works. So if you're going straight up, like from Ilya Island and up, fold. If you're going down from the ocean back to Ilya, you un- or... So you want your boat to look something like this when you're going up. When you're going down, you unfold. Ultimately, that just saves a few seconds. It's not like you must do it. Sometimes I've literally just put it on and whatever. You're just saving an extra minute. But things to actually worry about and learn if you plan on taking bartering more or less seriously is learn to routes and knowing that left to right is uh like windy also you see how this is where the trade spot is right 
but this is where it is on the map. So it's a little it's always a little bit under the icon once you look at it. So that's how you know where it is. So our next one, our goal is here, right? So the icon where my cursor is, is probably around there. So you wanna aim your boat up a little bit. Trust me when I say it was only like a year and a half ago when I started learning bartering. Well, sailing and bartering in general. I had to ask a lot of guildies and stuff a lot of questions, so if you have them too, feel free to ask. I'll try to answer them. Because it's definitely not something you learn overnight. You could read like a... And um, something <laughs> is funny. One thing someone sent me was like a whole like sailing expedition adventure update. It was like a Google Doc. It had like a nice total of 97 pages and I actually read through it. Granted, most of them are pictures and it's just like charts and numbers that no one really cares for, you don't really have to look about. But it's just like a 97 page Google sheet of like information you should know. So if you have any questions, I could always like just Google that or Honestly, what I did in my 20 minute video is summarize that entire thing and uh, how to get it. Oh my god, it's 20 mil. By the way, you don't actually use this for eating, you use it to repair your ration on your boat. Unfortunately, Oasis does not work, trust me, I've tried it. and nine sharks. Oh God, that's all. Uh, it's been a while, actually. I don't know how long it takes me to kill a sea monster anymore. It's probably not too bad. Remember how I said it's always under the icon? Yup. Oh wait, that's not even it. That's the middle one. It's this one. Hello, Nine Shark, where are you? I should really do this one day. Grinding crocs for hours literally taught me how to dodge. Be 
feels bad. I was thinking I could just one and done that uh, crystal from my boat. Oh, it's so bad. I do actually need these to enhance my boat gear. I do want to get a plus 10 Valor Cannon one day. Give me the barter button. Oh my god, game. I don't even know why I'm checking like it's going to pop up. It doesn't. You either get it during refreshing. No. Dude, it's snowing. I actually like the winter for this one. Like, the fact that they add snow to the ground, it's like a new touch. I like it. Granted, it also kills your FPS when there's just like random extra clutter on your screen, but it's whatever. And especially in this game where FPS means everything. It's so sad, it's literally this game. Well, not really this game only, but like for an MMO, FPS usually is its highest priority. But this game, it is. Distracted drive by. Turn this way a little bit under, so probably like right here. Good. Dude, I like how it just pops. <laughs> One is a little tricky to get the anchor button.
last one we gotta go to is down here. So it's gonna be a little bit weird because wind current, as I mentioned, going this way to this way, or just from left to right, a little bit higher. But it's, it's like it's not too bad. I want to sell this, but I also want to upgrade all of them to duo at some point. I really need to stop checking this. Do they have anything good? Fishing hot spot. I thought you couldn't see hot spots in the beginner one. artisan to see hot spots. Unless they change that at some point. I don't pay attention to fishing. Okay, if we just go straight down. Head will be at uh, Pirate Island and then we just go transfer here. So I'm pretty sure down there, if we're, look we're looking at this island, and we just keep going down. It's a little bit slower, because I don't really know how to do this. Like, once you're in, like, the raw sea, anything past, like, the Aquila Eye is when wave current starts happening. So once you get downwards, it's less important once you're, like, able to auto-path somewhere. But that was a good haul. 40, 80, 150 mil. Yay. 150 mil in about 30 minutes. All we have to go do is sell it now. about half an hour I gotta head out so uh, once you get back to land I should probably bounce for a little bit but yeah if you guys enjoy the chill bartering sessions we can definitely do more otherwise things I had on the plan was Rift boss is going to be going on as usual whenever they pop up. 
I want to do more RBF, but dude, I hate RBF so much. It's like, it, all they have to do, Pearl Abyss, if you watch my videos, is remove or turn off gillies in RBF, and I think I'd enjoy it so much more. Like, I get it, you want to make money, you got to sell gillies, but dude, just disable it in RBF. The same way you disable it in Node Wars and Sieges. Just like flip that switch, turn it off in RBF, and then we're good. That's all you have to do. And I guess Battle Arena. Just turn it off there, too. But like, I don't know. Those are the two very specific spots I would like it disabled. And, uh, you know, open world, if you have a ghillie, that's fine, cool, I don't care. If you're trying to defend yourself in a grind spot and you want a ghillie, cool, whatever. It's not in, like, controlled environments like that. RBF. I think once you get to it around here is when uh, we're no longer in Rossi and Margoria territory. So usually I could cut around here and make it a little bit quicker, but just going through here um, is a little bit better, or at least faster in my opinion. Again, I don't really know why I'm checking it. I just am. Nice. What is my sailing? Artisan 2 sailing. When did I get that? <laughs> I don't even remember. Almost there, just need to cross this like halfway island point. Like right here somewhere. And then it's like no more uh Margoria. we're not cutting out into there again that probably is the faster route I'm gonna be honest but no I'm just gonna s not worth committed There was actually a new grind spot. Like, it's not new, but like, I don't. Do people still grind here in Paddock's Island? I think if they had some sort of teleport system, well, obviously, besides the compass, like an official teleport system, they can get here and back without having to sail here. Dude, I think I would do it. As of right now, it's just so awful. Like, this is why I don't grind Sakraya either. It's not that I can't do it. It's just you're literally, for Sakraya, you're literally going into the middle of like nowhere just to grind. 
And you have a second underwater layer that you have to get to. I wonder, are they still in there? Yep. Permit ordered for people who grind Sakraya. For the most part, we've made it there and back. Look at this auto path, dude. Let's reset it. All right, dude. Well, anyway, I think I'm just gonna auto path and just get ready. Have to head out soon. So thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. And uh, let me know if you guys enjoyed watching bartering or want to see all this stuff either way. So, yep. I'll see you guys later. Have a fantastic day.